Every now and then, there's a movie that comes out that you had no plans on even seeing, and then it turns out to be one of the best films that you've seen that year. Well, for me, that was this movie, After Sun. It's a movie that's been etched into my brain since I first saw it last year, and I'm glad I'm finally getting able to talk about it here on this channel. So without wasting any more time, today we're going to take a look at After Sun and why it's one of the few movies to actually break me. So like I mentioned, I knew nothing about this movie before watching it, but it centers around two people largely, Sophie and her father Callum. Sophie doesn't live with her father and it's made to be clear that she doesn't really see him regularly, but they do end up spending a holiday vacation with one another in Turkey. Throughout the film, we get glimpses of Callum's mental state and notice he's really struggling with depression. We see his interactions with Sophie, and while they appear joyous, we begin to realize how on edge he really is on the inside. So it's in knowing this, we realize this trip isn't just about a father and his daughter spending time together. It's about how parents attempt to shield their emotions from their children. And in by doing so, our kids may fail to recognize the toll life takes on us at times. And this was such a heartbreaking revelation to me because as a parent myself, I always try my best to provide this joyful and happy life to my child, even though I may be aching on the inside. And conversely, as a child, I viewed my parents as the strongest people I knew, forgetting there were probably moments in time where they felt close to breaking. As the film progresses, it has many scenes that capture this duality beautifully. For example, there is a scene that takes place on Callum's birthday, in which Sophie arranges for a group of strangers to sing Happy Birthday to Callum. And on the surface, this is a nice gesture, and Sophie didn't inherently do anything wrong here. But if she knew how her father was struggling, maybe she wouldn't have done this. To her, it was something that should have been a happy moment, but to Callum, it was a reminder that he is now an age he never thought he would live to. It's an age that probably forces him to think about all of the things he has yet to accomplish in his life. It's more than just a birthday. It's in his mind a reminder of how disappointing his life actually is. Now, there are also scenes that show Callum finally breaking down, but again, all of this is held away from Sophie. These scenes are tough to watch as I have been both the innocent kid Sophie and the adult Callum. But where the film really shines is in its ability to look back at all of the things our parents sacrificed for us and how often us as children unknowingly took it for granted. It's a genuine metaphor for the common phrase you'll understand when you get older. And in the film, we see adult Sophie beginning to put these pieces together about who her father was and what he was really dealing with on the inside. The movie is stocked with many great emotional scenes just like this, but one in particular hasn't left my mind since I've seen it. Music can sometimes be used in a way that feels a bit pointless just something to give the audience a sense of joy or familiarity regardless if the scene is actually good or not then there are scenes where the music and the moment on screen are simply perfect from one another and this is the case for perhaps my favorite scene in after sun and maybe even one of my favorite scenes of all time it takes queen and david bowie's under pressure which is one of the most recognizable and loved songs of all time, yet it doesn't outshine the moment on screen because it's that powerful. We're not just witnessing a man and his daughter enjoying their last moments on a trip together with a dance, we're witnessing a man silently spiraling. 
as he battles his inner feelings. Now, dancing is something many of us do to have fun, and on the surface, that's what this moment may look like here. But given everything that we've seen and know about Callum, his dancing in this scene can be seen as a way to cope with the sadness of his daughter leaving. It could be seen as an effort to distract from the mental issues that are tearing him apart inside. It's his attempt to hide all of these deeper feelings from his daughter on the outside while silently crying for help on the inside. And the beauty of it all is that it's conveyed without a word barely even being spoken. Only the stunning visuals and music that both metaphorically and literally portray our lead character being consumed by the pressure. It's one of the most hauntingly beautiful scenes I've seen in a movie, and when people say songs remind them of movies, this movie will forever remind me of this song. And that's how powerful of a scene it is, because like I said before, this song was popular way before this movie ever even came out. While this may be my favorite scene in the film, the most tragic and maybe most important comes shortly after this, where Callum inevitably has to say goodbye to Sophie. And after he does, the camera lingers on him. And it's at this moment we feel like our world just ended along with his. We're left not knowing how to feel or even what to do. And we're left to wonder what Callum will do next. Yet we can all infer that it probably won't come to a happy ending. Now I understand After Sun touches on themes of anxiety and depression and some of the more serious events that can occur from those dealing with this, but I also think After Sun can resonate with just about anyone who has ever been in a situation or time in their life where they didn't know how to navigate through it. That is personally where the film got to me, and being a father only added to me relating to Callum in some ways. I at times am unsure about what I'm doing in life or even as a parent, and it all feels like a boulder on my shoulders at times. I imagine we all have things that weigh us down emotionally, physically, and mentally, but like Callum, put on a smile or attempt to for the sake of others, whether that be co-workers, friends, or our loved ones, especially our kids. And to see this reflected on screen in one of the most honest and accurate ways was simply amazing, and it was also heartbreaking. I believe After Sun represents a lot of things, but ultimately that we are not alone in our struggle, while also respecting the fact that those struggles may look different or be deeper for everyone. This is truly one of those movies that will not be for everybody. It's a character study that doesn't have a lot of, if any, action or entertaining sequences. It's also a film that's not really fun to watch, and it is a really slow burn as its focus is purely on character analysis. With that being said, it's perhaps one of the best character studies I've ever seen. The writing, while reserved, feels natural and as realistic as it can get. The direction and cinematography are near perfect for the story it's trying to tell. And the acting is purely phenomenal from our two leads. Now, I knew Paul Mescal didn't have a chance at winning Best Actor, and I am happy Brendan Fraser did get his Oscar, but I wouldn't have been upset if Paul took it here, as it's truly one of the best performances I've seen in a long time. Now, while I'm not sure I'll ever watch the full film again, it is one of the best movies to come out last year, and even one of the best of the past decade in my opinion. I rarely get emotional in films, and this was one of the most emotional rides I've ever been on. After Sun gets an 8.9 out of 10 from me. So as always, these are just my thoughts on the film. I am interested to hear yours. If you've seen it, what did you think? What were your favorite films from last year, 2022? And what are some of your favorite films so far in 2023? Let me know in the comments. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We're still on the road to 5K and we're getting close. And that's really huge for me. If you like what I do, let me know. Like and share with your friends. Also, give me some suggestions while you're at it for future videos. But that's pretty much about it. You guys be easy out there and I'll catch you soon.